Now, I've got a new favorite here. It's called Throwback Thursday. Now, I don't know who started it. I didn't even know it was legitimate until I Googled it one day. Every Thursday morning, I do a post on my blog of an old photograph. Most of the time, I try and do some from the industry. But every now and then, I find one that, you know, it's more personal and it's family, which is fine. But one of the things that I had a photographer tell me was she had found an old picture of her grandparents' wedding photograph. So here was a photograph that was close to 100 years old, and she used it as a blog post to talk about the importance of, of portraiture, the importance of wedding photography, the importance of documenting those special images in a print. I'm a huge fan of printed material. I know some of you are going to tell me that, oh, it's just fine on a disc or a jump drive. But I'm sorry, technology changes, and I've got eight-track tapes that I can't play um, that I'm happy to share with you. I've got regular cassette tapes. Find me a car today that's got a cassette player. Or better yet, um, floppy disks. Now, Brian Caparici, a good friend of mine from Toronto and founder of, one of the co-founders of SproutingPhotographer.com and Weekend Wisdom, where I do a podcast, when he works a bridal show, he hands all of his images to a bride on a floppy disk and say, here, take a look at this when you get home and you'll see some of my work. To which the bride looks at and goes, what do I even play this on? And that's all he's got to say is exactly, what are you going to play them on? And then he's got an opportunity to be able to talk about the importance of at least one big print, the importance of a wedding album. Why do you want to have an album? You want to be able to show those images and know they're going to be seen years from now, no matter what, what the... Uh, the, the format was they were printed in. So Throwback Thursday, now this happens to be a shot from third grade. That's me in the top corner. That's my wife Sheila in the bottom corner. We didn't actually meet until a second chapter in my life. Um, and we've been married for five years now. But this image itself means, I can't tell you how much it means to me. Um, we weren't even friends then. So this goes back to being a kid in elementary school. We were not friends through, through elementary school junior high school, high school, she was a cheerleader, I was a nerd. What chance did I have with the cheerleader? So being able to look back at that third grade picture um, is just a lot of fun for Throwback Thursday. Here are a couple more. Um, this, the one on the left I just picked up from a, from a stock house to be able to show you because I couldn't find any antique photos that I thought I would have the rights to use. But the one on the right is my parents and in that particular picture, uh, my mother is six weeks pregnant with me, and I know that because my mother wrote it on the back of every single picture, who it was and when it was. Now those become significant images to make a point with a client about the importance of photography and of printed work.